Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. I'm going to take a Forex uh, quick look at the dollar versus canner from a technical perspective. Uh, we are moving uh, down toward the lows for the day after testing a key resistance level. So let's see what those levels are and why they're so important and what we may look forward to going forward. My, uh, so let's get started. I'm looking at the uh, four hour chart and I spoke uh, to the high price that we saw in trading here today. That high price came in at 1.3535, which was about two pips short of the 50% midpoint of the move down from, uh, well, the October high that uh, goes back uh, back in time uh, back there uh, to the low price that we saw in the month of December. The 50% uh, again comes in at 1.3537. The high price for the day came in at 3.5. 1.3535 so I uh, got within two point pips and the price uh, uh, sellers leaned against that level and pushed to the downside by the way that level also uh, tested or got within this swing area the swing area is a little wider uh, between 135.26 and 135.42 uh, and it's defined by uh, just a number of uh, different uh, swing highs forming this ceiling through here 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 uh, and then uh, we moved above it in trading last week, uh, but uh, then tried to hold support against this level before breaking to the downside. We returned back to that level in trading here today. Well, actually yesterday as well to the low of the level found sellers and then moved to the high today, uh, reaching the 50 percent of the of that move and, and uh, finding their sellers again. So this level right here cannot be uh, uh, ignored either. Uh, if the price were to turn around, we do need to get above that area. And then we'd have the 100-day moving average above that to contend with at the 135.54 level uh, in uh, trading last week. Again, the price moved above that level, but uh, haven't been above that level uh, since going back to the month of December through here. Now, on the downside, uh, what do we have to look forward to? Well, uh, just the one key level that uh, I'm going to focus on here, and that's near this level right here, near the 134, 75, 78 type area. And uh, you see the, this green line right here, this green flat line represents a 200-day moving average. This blue line represents the 100-bar moving average on the four-hour chart. And in trading last week and this week, there has been a number of different swing lows that stalled right against that blue line right there. Uh, those two moving averages are coming together, again, near around the 134.76-ish type level. So that's going to increase this level's importance going forward. Now we are about, uh, I don't know, 25 plus 7, about 32 pips away from that level, but it's not that far away. Uh, we're going to need to get below that level. And then the uh, 200 bar moving average, that's the green line right here on the four hour chart to increase the bearish bias on the downside. But be aware of that. In, in between that, those levels is this uh, trend line. Now we moved below that trend line yesterday on its way to test the 100 bar moving average. But we'll watch that. It currently comes in just a little bit below the 134.92 level, around the 134.90 level. So sellers are, are uh, trying to take more control after uh, finding resistance against the 50% retracement, keeping a lid at that midpoint level, which is uh, more bearish uh, for this uh, pair from a technical perspective. Keep that in mind, and we are moving uh, lower. Uh, get below the uh, 135 level, and maybe look toward the 134. 90 level and then that uh, key 134.75 level where the two moving averages come together. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.